into West Texas where tennis ball sized hail came down in sheets just outside of Lubbock. But that banged up a bunch of cars. Yeah, they had a pretty wild day in the panhandle and also a tornado touchdown, uh, touch, touching down there. Um, I, was, I wanted something a little more tranquil. We've had some severe weather, so, you know, let's get our chi in order. So I thought this picture might uh, help us out with that. Uh, Beautiful. There nice. we go. That's nice. I think uh, Janet didn't write in the video when she sent it to report it at KRQE, as a lot of you have. I think it's Bonito Lake over in uh, Rio Rosso. So a wonderful picture. Thank you. Keep sending them to report it at krqe.com. Now, most of the activity not too much, is in the northern mountains. Just some light rain, a lot of low-level clouds that look scary and they might do something, but not producing much, just some light drain, uh, rain. We had some activity in the Jemez, Santa Fe as well. Here in the metro, a little bit of drizzle here and there. We'll continue with these chances as we get through the evening, but it is nothing like we saw the past couple of days, so that is the good news. Our big storm system is making its way out of the state, out of the state actually, uh, to the northeast. It goes a lot of clouds behind it, and we're also seeing that moisture wrap around, so that could uh, give us some showers for the northern mountains and then also possibly a mixture of some snow and rain tonight for Durango and areas north. So we could get some slick roads up there, so definitely be careful out on the road. So we're going to go with this uh, lingering rain to the north as our system does exit, and that'll stick around for a couple of days here. This little trough pulls down two through the weekend and it'll give us spot storms in the north. We're going to be pretty clear down in the south, should be a pleasant weekend. And then as we get into Monday, a Another trough dips down Monday. Windy conditions. The main feature with this will be some rain showers in the northern uh, mountains here. Also possibly some high mountain snow, especially in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. But for the most of the state, the feature that we're going to notice is going to be some very, very cool temperatures. A big pool of cold air moving in possibly even dropping down into the 30s here in the Albuquerque area. 58 right now, temperatures, uh, winds are southwest at 7 miles per hour. Cool air behind that system, it's only 51 in Farmington, 57 in Silver City. And a little bit warmer, cool air is not reached yet to the Roswell area. Clovis at 66 and 68 in Tucumcari. Let's do the numbers right now. Northwest New Mexico, that's where we start always. 53 in Durango tonight. Could see a mix of rain and snow, especially after midnight. We're going to have scattered storms on tap for you guys guys for the next few days and then on and off punchy storms here and there temperatures dropping by Wednesday and Thursday a low of 27 degrees in Farmington on Thursday southwest New Mexico spot storms are possible for you guys tomorrow 62 in Silver City 71 in Alamogordo near 70 in Socorro southeast New Mexico how about a break for you guys you do deserve it 72 in Portales 51 in Cloudcroft head up to the mountains should be very nice this weekend a spot storm is not out of the question but should be a pretty quiet weekend for you guys Roswell seven day forecast looks like this pretty cool couple of days then we warm up and then we drop it back down only 65 degrees for your high on Thursday northeast New Mexico we're talking scattered storms for you guys 71 in Clayton 64 Vegas Raton 68 degrees high mountain snow possible once again tonight in the uh, elevations mainly above 9,000 feet 51 Angel Fire 59 in Santa Fe seven day forecast shows a couple of stormy days uh, here in Santa Fe spot storms that is and then we're gonna really step temperatures down by the end of next week 27 degrees for the low on Thursday night over in the East Mountains, windy conditions, maybe a spot storm. Cool night tonight for a lot of you. We'll be uh, flirting with the freezing mark there. And over in downtown Albuquerque, 62 downtown for you tomorrow, 67 in Berlin. Maybe a spot drizzle here or there, uh, kind of stray rain. But check out these temperatures. Wednesday, a high of 61 and then dipping down to the 30s. So probably the coolest temperatures we've seen in Albuquerque so far. All right. Thank you, Ian. Mm -hmm. Sports is next.